coming up in Ms. Tastic. lines for the bottom of the smushy part of the ice cream. Big circle curving line up and over like a rainbow. small circle and a really big one in the 
they went out of their small circle. That's about the size of the of this one, so these two are about the same size. And we'll add a smaller circle in there and we'll color it in. And another small circle on this one and color the dirks of the eyes, making those little circles white. Okay, curving line up. And connect with the U. Letter M. For the cone texture, and then you're ready to color in your choice of colors and art mediums. I'm gonna add add the shading. I'm a vanilla, my big vanilla ice cream. We can do whatever colors or flavors you want. She's that color to shade. Mm -hmm. Need a home color. Early top ice cream, so we're gonna do a nice big V at the bottom.
Let's add diagonal lines across our cone. We're gonna make a nice waffle cone. So they're kind of yummy. And then we're gonna have diagonal lines going the opposite way. Mmm, this makes me want some ice cream. I, you know what I used to love is that swirl ice cream. McDonald's used to have it, but then they got rid of it. That was kind of lame. Who gets rid of swirl ice cream? Like, what was that all about McDonald's? Other places have it. Maybe Costco. I can't remember. I don't really go often. But I do like a nice swirl ice cream. Alright, moving on. Don't need to talk about that. I'm gonna use some gray I mixed up, so white and black to make gray. I'm just gonna take that. I'm gonna shape the layers. We can also do it purple. You could do it with blue. Maybe you want to have a flavor ice cream. Like maybe you have the bubblegum ice cream then you have blue ice cream. Now I'm just painting with some temper paint from the dollar store. You can use whatever kind of paint you want. Like you can use watercolor paint. You can use any kind of paint you want. Paint your ice cream. We're going to paint the background. cream too because I love ice cream. I really hope you enjoyed making art with me and I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to make more art, more drawings and learn a lot of skill. Well my friend that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.